Hey guys, today I'll be updating my Artillery Genius Pro machine. I need to update the firmware and I also need to update the TFT. As you can see on the TFT, all of my uh, uh, icons are in Chinese because I had to get a new screen for the, for the machine. And um, yes, yeah, so I want to update this, but first of all, I need to update the firmware. The firmware on a Artillery Genius Pro is a little bit more difficult than other machines that I've worked on to update. So I'm going to be going through it step by step with you. The first thing is we need to download a few files. We need to download the actual firmware bin file. Then we need to download Pontoface and another program called STM32Cube. So with no further ado, let's get cracking. I'll show you exactly step by step how to do this, where to go. All the links will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps you. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to the artillery website and we're going to go on the technical support drop down and click on downloads. This will open up all the downloads, well most of the downloads that we need uh, in order to download. So the first thing we'll do is we'll download our firmware file. So I'm just going to go to my Artillery Genius Pro firmware, the stock and bin version. We're not going to do the source and compile it. Um, this will work on Sidewinders, on the Hornet, on the other machines as well. So I'm going to open up the Artillery Genius Pro firmware. It'll take me to a Google Drive that they have set up and we can then click on download. This will download my file. I'm going to save it into a folder that we've created and save that. Next step, let's go back to the Artillery page. We're going to download STM32Q Programmer, the Win64 version, and this is used to actually flash the uh, firmware on your machine. So let's go and click on download. It'll take us again to a Google Drive. We will download the file, and it's too big for Google Drive to scan for viruses. So be careful. Make sure you have a virus protection that will scan it, and then I'm going to say save as, and I'm going to put that into the same folder as everything else. Once that is downloaded, I'm going to open it. Let's do an extract right now. So I'm going to extract the zip file into the same location. And I'm going to delete the zip file just to keep this clean and easy for you guys to follow. The next thing we need to do is download Pontoface. Now Pontoface is listed in, in their list here, but it doesn't allow you to download it from here because it violates, violates Google Drive policies. So let's download Pontoface. So I search up Pontoface um, in my Bing. I then go to download. I will paste all the links in the description below to the latest versions of everything as a shortcut for you. But if you want to go the long way, you can click on latest release. That will open up this folder. And at the bottom here are our zip files to download. I'm going to download the x64 version because I've got 64-bit windows. Most of you will have 64-bit windows. Let's save it into the same location. And once it is downloaded, I'm going to open up the folder, extract it all again to the same place. And again, I'm just going to delete the zip file just to make things easier. Right, we are done with that now. Okay, so let's open up um, the STM32 Q programmer. This is an installation file that you need to install, so you'll install it on your local machine. I'm now going to run that file, that file and it will start installing. While we're waiting for it to open up, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Throw us a like if you like this video at the end of the video and uh, let me know in the comments below what else I can do to make your life easier. The next thing is we're going to go and install this. So I'll click on next. Next, those are the features. I will accept the terms of agreement. Next, next. Um, okay, it probably won't do that for you. Mine, I have installed this before. And then I'm going to go next and it will start installing. It will install the program. Then it will download the driver for it and prompt you to install the driver. We are now going to install that driver. That gets the, the machine ready so that it can talk to it via the software. And we are finished. Done. So that's the STM programmer done. Let's go back one step here. 
and let's go to Prontoface. Now Prontoface you don't install, it's an exe that is downloaded and runs straight on your machine. So let's start with Prontoface. We need Prontoface in order to get the machine ready to accept firmware. Uh, it doesn't automatically allow you to program it, you've got to actually set the, the motherboard ready for firmware download. So when I open up Prontoface, I have the USB cable connected on the side here and it's connected into my laptop and it's already found it at COM port 4. I'm going to click on connect. It will say that the printer is now online and we are ready to go. In the command to send product at the bottom here, we are going to type in M997. This gets this is a code to get the machine ready for it to uh, be ready for, for update. So that is now run. You will get an, an error, but it's still, uh, you will get an exception, but it will still be ready for uh, flashing. Now we're gonna open up the STM32 Cube programmer. So I open that up. And if on the top right hand corner, I've got a USB. If you don't have USB, you can scroll down to USB and click on connect. This will connect our printer, getting it ready to, to communicate. The next thing we do is we want to make a backup of this file. So I'm going to click on save as. We'll call it the genius backup. Just in case something goes wrong and we can have a backup of the drive. Once that is done, we're going to click on open file here. Go back to the Genius Pro stock firmware that we originally wanted to use to upload and we that we downloaded in the first steps of this of this tutorial. And I'm going to click on that and click open. Once that is open, it is ready to be installed and we can hit download. This will now flash the firmware um, onto the machine. It will write all the files that it needs to and it should be quite quick. So file download is complete. Okay, and we are done with that. So now I can disconnect. So it's a good idea to disconnect from the STM32 and we can close that down. After updating the firmware, I'm going to shut the computer down. I'm going to unplug my, my, uh, my USB cable. We'll turn the printer off. Wait for it to go off. It's got quite a big capacity in there. And then we'll turn our printer back on. And... I will plug my USB cable back in. We'll then go back to Pronto Face and I will connect onto COM port 4. The printer is now online and ready. We're now going to type M115 and you'll see over here is the new version of, firm, of the Merlin firmware or modern firmware that they've compiled installed on this machine. So that will be pretty much it for the entire installation of the firmware. Next week, I'll be doing a video on how to flash the TFT module and get it to the latest version because I want to get it to an English version and there are some new codes that have been added to the firmware. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and give me a shout if you need any help or if you run into any problems or any steps. Again, the all the... The downloads will be in the description below. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support of this channel. And we've got a lot more videos coming. So please join us soon. Cheers. God bless.